Uh, Craig says, I have a Microsoft 365 family uh, plan and I wish to share the suite with uh, my parents. However, they are two users on two PCs, but with only one Microsoft account. Can this be done? If I let yeah. one of them keep the existing, well, Mike, I've not finished the question yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I let one of them keep the existing account and create a new account for the other, one of them will lose stuff? No. No. So no. if you can use a Microsoft account for as many of the licenses that you want, okay, uh, it doesn't matter. You can log in. Well, on a family account, user. it's five. Correct. Yeah, well, you're, you're yeah, five, yeah. and you can use right. them across any way you want. Right, right. Right, yeah. but you can use the same account for all five. It doesn't right. matter. Okay. Exactly. Because yeah. the thing is, is that that account is going to show you like when you go in and open up Word, it says recent documents, okay, as an example. It's gonna show you the recent documents from that user on any of those devices that is that is logged in as that person. So it makes sense for them to use one Microsoft account if they're both using working with the same documents, you know, if they're both doing the same thing. That just makes sense. Um, if you wanna create them a separate account, well, that one other account is gonna be empty until they start working it. And then you're gonna also have to work on sharing the documents yep. across. So just use one account. <laughs> yeah, it's it. so yeah. So I have, you know, with my primary account, I have, uh, you know, downloaded the desktop applications and it's my login on three different machines. Yeah. And so, I, and I want it to work that way. So when I'm on the road with my Surface Pro, I see exactly the same content that I see on my two uh, uh, workstations. Okay. And that's that's you know, intended purpose there. Uh, so it's nice. I don't have to change things like, you know, if you have a centralized printer for people that still print things, I do two or three times a year, um, ta <laughs> taxes being one of them. Um, but the, uh, you know, if you're sharing a lot, uh, you know, like my wife and I was like, I don't care, like have access. She knows my logins to the computer and will come down when she needs to use. She's, she's a Mac user though. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. try to keep those separated. Um, but when she needs to get stuff done, she comes down to my system. Uh, <laughs> she gets stuff done. But, uh, but anyway, uh, it, but it, it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's perfectly normal to have, uh, you know, multiple computers with that same account. To, to Mike's point, I mean, you, you've got five different logins. So you could have five different computers. Uh, you could pay to have more than that, um, mm -hmm. but five with that single login, nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. As long as that's working for, you know, for your parents to be sharing their content. Yeah, if I gave, if I, if I gave another login to my parents, is just confusion. My, oh, my God. It yeah. would be like it would be like the end of the world. It would be like you know, there's no way we can figure this out because now you know they you know stepdad can't Where's see his his email? documents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she just did this document for me yesterday, and it doesn't show up anymore. And and when I go in and uh, you know, just avoid all that. <laughs> I just want to know when we're going to get to the Star Trek thing. You know, do the you know, computer, computer. <laughs> Um, hello, where are my files? You can do that with Cortana now, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I guess technically yeah. you could. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. Well, it depends on your login too. If you've got a, if you've got an MSA login, Cortana's not very bright. Uh, if you have a full Office 365 login, it gets, he, she, it gets a lot smarter. Okay, so now Hal just opened up another can of worms here. Um, Oops. Yeah, so MSA versus what well, you called it an Office 365 login. It's actually M365. a worker, worker school account, right? Right, right. Okay, so there you go. if anybody's going to set up a second account, I would I would minimally avoid doing anything with MSA. Stay away from MSA as far away as you possibly can, um, if at all possible. Um, because the event, they told us, 10, 8, 9, 10 years ago that MSA was going to go away. And MSA is still here, <laughs> but who knows if they're ever going to get rid of it, you know, um, because they've still got a couple billion accounts out there, something that are based on Outlook.com and Hotmail.com and all that other kind of fun stuff. So it, it 
just blows my mind. And some people will be like, well, I don't have a work or a school and it won't authenticate because they don't have a, you know, uh, an Azure. Well, when you buy 365, it gives you that Azure backend. So that automatically, whatever users you put into there is a work or slash school account. I I just think that Microsoft, the wording, they, they could do better with the, the whole um, non clementure of, you know, what the, you know, the wording of those accounts and what they actually are. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things they could fix the wording. <laughs> yeah. Thank you.